Hello again, and welcome to another Hashtag Now Smoking Cigar Review. I'm Gary Korb, your host from CigarAdvisor.com, and today I'm really looking forward to this one. It is the new Sobra Mesa Brulee from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. Uh, it is a Steve Saka creation. If you're an uh, avid cigar smoker, you probably know about Steve Saka. You know about his uh, reputation as cigars. And this one is really beautiful. It's an uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper with a San Andreas Negra binder and Nicaraguan fillers. We'll get into the details of this, but I just want to look at the cigar first. First of all, it smells really good. You know, it has that real like barnyard kind of smell. It has a beautiful gold and brown secondary band at the foot. It has the Sobra Mesa crown here and um, it feels really nice. And I'll tell you one thing, Steve does not lack in terms of quality construction, that is for sure. Um, the cap is like almost seamlessly applied and uh, we're gonna take it off right now. Let's see. I always like to go in the direction of the wrap. So there we go. Okay, so, hmm. I'm getting kind of a leathery flavor from the um, cold draw here. It, the draw is really good. I say a little, little leathery and a little, little like, um, almost like a, like a creamy sweetness or something like, like sweet cream or something. It's, it's, it's kind of sweet and leathery. Let's light her up. I want to be real careful with this one. It's the Connecticut wrapper. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's a really hot day this morning outside the famous smoke shop studios. Well, then we'll really have to test how good this cigar is. Well, it lit up real nice. <laughs> Mm, wow, yeah, I'm getting that sweetness right off, right off the, uh, right off the top. And uh, there's some nice smoke coming off the foot here, some nice smoke coming through the head. I'm getting a bit of that, you know, leathery note again and some of that sweetness coming through. Now, if he's using a Connecticut wrapper with a San Andreas Negro binder, and I don't know what... Nicaraguan fillers use, but he definitely wanted to make this kind of a sweet cigar. So let's do this. Let's get down to the first inch and we'll continue from there. Okay, so we're continuing with our Sobre Mesa Brulee. And uh, I gotta tell you, this is uh, really, really, really nice. It's very creamy. I'm getting some nice vanilla notes. A little bit of pepper. It's very, very creamy. And I suppose that Steve named this brulee because it is very creamy and it does have that little hint of vanilla in there. But I'm getting like a very peppery finish right now, which only just past the first inch. The, the first ash fell was um, a little flaky. It's not a very firm ash. And as I'm turning it now in the ashtray, I'm also seeing how it's. Uh, it's a little flaky, but that's fine. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Let's talk about the cigar a little bit. Steve Saka says, Sobra Mesa Brulee is a recreation of the milder shade-wrapped ligas of my early years. Somewhere over the last three decades, many of the classic shade cigars have become wispy, uninspiring, and rather dull to my palate. I wanted to share with others the way I remember these blonde cigars being. Well, you know, it does, you know, when I, before I lit it, I just kind of, smelled, you know, the side of the cigar. It does have that like old, you know, cigar, you know, classic cigar, uh, barnyard aroma, you know. And I don't normally do that, but something drew me to that. Um, also, as a Ligador and Tobacco Man, this is Steve now talking, I do not understand the recent trend of making strong Connecticut cigars, AKA, not your grandfather's cigar. Okay, well, anyway, um, I did do an article on this sort of uh, Connecticut resurgence where you have these Connecticut wrapped cigars and inside is uh, a lot of either Nicaraguan or, you know, a blend of, you know, hearty tobaccos. Um, but of course, I think that's what Steve was getting at, but 
this is really well balanced. It really is creamy and it really is sweet. And I know I like sweet cigars. Uh, he says here that the brulee is a variation of the core Sobre Mesa Liga, and I love the Sobre Mesa, in which the Pennsylvania seed leaf Lajero has been removed. Okay. The Condega Seco has been increased, and the wrapper is replaced with a top shelf. BW Ecuador Connecticut Shade Leaf. I don't know what BW means, but we'll find out. The result is a milder, even smoother adaptation of the Sobre Mesa blend that does not sacrifice its wonderfully complex flavors or aromas. This is not a cigar to be smoked casually, but rather a relaxing smoking experience meant to be savored slowly. And I know when we do these reviews, I tend to smoke a little faster than I normally would, but I'm gonna to try to relax and really enjoy it. And it really is a perfect morning cigar, I can tell you that. We have a beautiful day here. I got my iced coffee. I got my Sobre Mesa Brulee, and I'm very, very happy right now. The blend, let's just do that real quick. The capa, or the wrapper, is an Ecuador Connecticut shade G2BW. Like I said, I'll probably put that in the text version of what that's all about. The capote, or the binder, is the San Andreas Negro, and they use that a lot for wrapper. It's also naturally sweet tobacco, which is probably what's contributing to this. And the tripa, or the filler, is all Nicaraguan. And if anyone knows Nicaraguan tobaccos, it's Steve Saka. So anyway, this size is the Robusto. It is a five and a quarter inch by 52, which is a really nice size. I like that size too. The Toro comes in a six by 52. And the Brulee Gordo is a six and a quarter by 60. So anyway, let's uh, see how we're doing here. Yeah, it's really consistent, really creamy, really smooth, really sweet. It's kind of balanced between the sweetness, the creaminess, and that little shot of pepper that's laying on my palate. So let's see what happens in Act Two. All right, welcome to Act Two, and the Sobre Mesa Brulee keeps rolling along. Yeah, let me tell you, I wanted you to see this ash. You missed it on the first time because it fell off. And uh, it's actually uh, pretty firm looking. It's holding up okay. The burn is pretty good. It's, it's a little angled, but we have a little bit of a breeze as we usually do out here, and it's really, really tasty. Now, Steve says this cigar is a mild to medium cigar that is creamy with softer flavors of cedar, caramel, and cafe, which are complemented by its inherent sweetness being allowed to blossom on the palate and the nose. And nuttiness is also apparent with this blend. Well, I gotta tell you, he described that cigar perfectly because that's exactly what I'm getting. I really am. Um, I'm getting a little more pepper than he described, but I'm definitely getting that creaminess. I'm getting that little caramel taste. Um, just, you know, the, uh, the, the, the sweetness, it, it's just really, really nice. And I'm really enjoying it. I am trying to take my time between puffs too. So to really get the most out of the cigar. Wow, you know, I got, <laughs> it's really, really nice. I'm trying to think of what else it reminds me of. It's just, it's just a really good, I'd say mellow to medium or even medium, straight down the line medium cigar. It's pretty to look at. I like the little gold crown. <laughs> I like that. And um, I'm gonna ash it. I just wanna see if this ash is what I described earlier. Uh, actually, it is, it is a bit firmer than I thought. I'm tapping it here pretty good. And it really doesn't want to come off, so we're gonna leave it alone. Yeah, a lot of nice sweetness coming off that wrapper and, and that, that binder. Um, I, I really don't know what much more to say about it other than I'm just really enjoying the hell out of it. And I like the ash. The ash is a nice gray color. It has a little bit of marble to it, you know, and the, uh, the cap is nice and sweet. It's a really beautifully done cap, too. It's a triple seamer. And like I said, uh, Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, you know, they don't play around. I mean, like, they take their time making their cigars. This cigar, like a lot of their cigars, is made in limited edition. What I also thought was interesting, it's, it's a baker's dozen. It comes in a box of 13, uh, which you don't see very often. So I kind of like that. I just think it's, it's kind of neat. I like the, the burn line. It has a caramel color to it and that caramel flavor, you know, it's sort of all one cohesive, nice uh, presentation. 
and look how creamy that smoke is too. It's the volume, it's chewy, it's really nice. And again, I'm getting that nice little peppery spice on the finish. Goes great with the iced coffee. Oh wow, it would probably go just as well with something not as sweet like an espresso or something like that too. But um, I'm definitely going to be smoking these. I can tell you that. This is right in my wheelhouse. And I love the Soper Mesa too. I, li I like the Mi Querida. I mean, just about everything that Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust does is top notch. If you're a pretty regular cigar smoker, you smoke a decent number of cigars, then you probably already know this. So I'm not telling you anything new, but for the newer cigar smokers, if you want to get into this company, this is probably the best place to start. Because this will really open your eyes and open your palate to the uh, potential of what this uh, company has to offer. Well, let's do a retro hail, huh? Let's see how that is. I haven't done that yet. Now, I'm getting kind of a creamy taste in there. A little bit of that vanilla note. Not really very peppery. Yeah, it's, it's spicy though. It's spicy, but it's nice. I'll tell you what. I just want to enjoy this thing, so let's wait till we get down to the third act and we'll see what happens then. All right, we're down to the, well, we're in the third act, but we're almost getting down to the nub too. Um, I'm just loving this thing. It's very nutty, it's very creamy. All the things that were described in the press release, this cigar, it lives up to, and I like when that happens because, you know, blenders have one idea of how the cigar is supposed to taste. Cigar smokers, well, when they smoke it, they get another idea, but sometimes they hit it right on the mark, and this is on the mark. Now, how does this compare to your typical Connecticut cigar? Well, of course, every blend is different. Most Connecticut cigars are, are, are considered um, on the mellow plus, mellow side, you know, maybe medium bodied side. I, I, you know, I, would, I would definitely put this in the um, Connecticut resurgence category because it's not only a beautiful Connecticut wrapper uh, on here and it's not only flavorful but it does have some kick to it and I think for the new cigar smoker who has probably started with Connecticut uh, wrapped cigars you know starting off in the kind of the mellow arena um, this is definitely the next step up and I think you're gonna get a lot more flavor out of the cigar you're gonna really get a good idea of you know what Nicaraguan tobaccos can do to a blend you got that San Andreas uh, Negro in there as a binder. It's just really nice. Also, the last ash came off during the break, and it was, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty firm. So I kind of take back what I said on that first ash, which was very flaky. But sometimes the first ash will be like that, and then the rest have been pretty nice. It breaks up pretty easily, which I'm doing here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's um, just a really wonderful cigar. I'm really enjoying this thing. And... Uh, I had a feeling I would only because I do tend to like sweet cigars. A couple of the guys I work with uh, have smoked it uh, already and they had high uh, remarks for it and I just, um, just can't you know, disagree with that at all. It's just really, really nice. Another thing I'll say about this cigar is it has not become uh, stronger in flavor. It's, it's, it's maintained its level in terms of its body and strength. It's just really consistent and I like that too. It's very impressive it's, and it's, it's not easy to do. It just goes to show you that when you really know what you're doing with tobaccos, you can make a really wonderful cigar. And, and um, so far this, is, this, is, this has got an A, a for me. You know, it's just, just right in the pocket for me. Okay, it's getting a little more earthy. We're really getting out of the end too. So. It's a little earthier, the pepper's a little more prominent, but underneath that is that layer of sweetness and that creaminess is still in the smoke. Oh yeah. All right, well, 
I'm going to keep going a little bit here and then we'll get down to the nub. Let's see how far I can get it down. Okay. See you later. Well, we're almost down to the end of this thing. And I got to tell you, I wish it was a longer cigar. I'm going to have to try the Toro, I guess. Um, this is really nice. I'm going to take the band off. And it came off perfectly. Put our little crown right there. Oh, there it goes. And um, it's still very consistent. It's still sweet, it's still creamy, it's still nutty. Still a good volume of smoke. We've got a nice breeze, as you can see. Yeah, nice, nice uh, pepper shot there in the retro hail. Kudos to Steve Saka and Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. It's really, really, really nice cigar and, and just perfect for the morning. I guess I'd say any time of day, really. It's, it's got enough flavor to, you know, carry you through uh, a good afternoon, a good evening. Uh, again, the morning, great. Um, this cigar retails for about, uh, I think, $12.45. That's the MSRP. You can buy them at famous-smoke.com. And I guarantee you they're going to be going pretty fast. So uh, it probably won't cost you that much either, which is always nice. And let's see how we're doing here. Oh, uh, yeah. It is so nice to have a cigar that you really, really love, you know? And the wrapper too, it's just, it's just really held up. It hasn't cracked. The burn is perfect now. I don't know what more good things to say about it. And I, I hope I'm not uh, overdoing it. Uh, I'm, I'm really not, you know, um, trying to hype this thing. I, I, it's really that good. Wow, yeah, getting some, some of that earthiness now and that pepper and that, that caramel. It's just, everything is just all mixed up so nicely, you know? It's just really, really nice. So I highly recommend the Sober Mesa Brule from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, it makes a great gift too. So uh, you get a box of 13, really, really delicious really great. I, I wish Steve the best with this cigar. I think it's going to do fantastic. Like I said, people are already talking about this cigar and um, that's the way it's going to be, I guess. So thanks for watching and happy smokes.